Hi everyone, Ron with Lakeshore here. I'm going to show you how using a water bottle your child can be a rainmaker. Before we make the rain bottle, here are a few things you're going to need. You'll need at least three empty water bottles with the caps, a source of water like from a faucet or a hose outside, and as an optional source of water, you can use a container filled with water. Also, for you as an adult only, a stick pin or tack. Now we're going to use that tack to make some holes at the bottom of the water bottle. So just take your tack and just poke a hole at the bottom of the water bottle or near the bottom of the water bottle wherever you can push through the plastic. On one bottle, make one hole. On a second bottle, make three holes. And on a third bottle, make five or more holes. Make a bunch of holes. And now all the bottles are ready to be filled with water. I'm going to show you two different ways of how you can fill the water bottle and I'll give you some tips and descriptions so you can help your child through that process. And then I'll walk you through step by step on how to get the most out of your rain bottle. We use it as a prop with music, playing in nature, artistic creativity, games, and outdoor fun. Take your bottle to the sink to fill it up. Now water may come out of the holes at the bottom, but once it gets to the top and you put the cap on, the water will stop coming out of the bottom. You can also fill it up by putting the bottle completely underwater. And when the bottle fills up with water, the air will come out. You know that it's done when the air stops coming out. When it's done, put the cap on the bottle while it's still under the water, and then it's filled. Now that your bottle is filled with water, let's ask the question. Why isn't the water coming out of the holes at the bottom of the bottle? I mean, it may drip a little bit at first, but it definitely isn't pouring out. So why? It's because of air pressure. The air pressure that's all around us. It pushes on everything, including the bottle and the holes at the bottom of the bottle. And that's what keeps the water inside the bottle. Now we can let air inside the bottle and that will help push it out, but the top is closed and the holes on the bottom of the bottle are too small to let air go in. Let me show you an example of a hole that's bigger. Now this bottle doesn't have any holes in the bottom, but the very top of the bottle is a pretty big hole that we drink out of. So if I turn this upside down, the water comes out because the air can get in, help to push it out. So if the holes in the bottom of this bottle are too small to let air in to help push the water out, then how do we get the water out? Well, we can apply more pressure to the bottle by squeezing it. And because the bottle is made out of plastic, it's flexible and it'll push on the water pushing the water out every time we squeeze it. But it only happens when we squeeze. Or we can have a constant rain by opening up the cap at the top, which allows air to get into the bottle and push the water out. And then we can stop it by closing the cap. And it works the same for all your bottles, no matter how many holes it has, right? And then you can start comparing between the one hole bottle, the three hole bottle, and the bottle with a bunch of holes, which one rains the most? Which one will take longer to empty when you're making it rain? Why? You can also compare how it rains when you squeeze it versus when you open the top. You can throw a cloud on there to represent where rain comes from, and now you have a prop for all your rain songs. Remember the Itsy Bitsy Spider? Down came the rain and washed a spider out. It's raining, it's pouring, the old man is snoring. Rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. Now as a rainmaker, you have a responsibility to make it rain where it's safe and respectful. So grown-ups, you can help set this up. Here are some options on where you can make it rain. How about for watering plants? Now with your bottles with different holes in them, take them outside and see what kind of patterns you can make in the concrete sidewalk or driveway when you make it rain from the bottle that has one hole, three holes, or a bunch of holes. With lots of little holes, it's like tiny little raindrops hitting the ground. Here's a pattern I made with three holes in a bottle. What pattern can you make? I found that one hole was great to draw with.
make a game out of it. Get your rain bottle and then cover it up with paper so you can't see the level of the water. And then get other people to play with you by passing it around. And as you pass it around, everybody gets a squeeze. And then you try to make sure that you're not the one to empty the bottle. Can you tell when the bottle is getting lighter? I suggest when you play this game to start off with a bottle that's about less than half full. If you want to add more fun to your outside water play, turn the bottle upside down with the cap on and then squeeze it to see how high the water will go. Be dressed to get wet on this one. Let's see what happens. We'd love to see the rain bottles that you made and how you use them. So post a photo or video on social media with the hashtag LearnWithLakeshore. I hope you enjoyed this learning at home video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the Lakeshore Learning Channel to see more. Until next time, keep on learning. Keep watching our learning at home videos. Plus visit lakeshorelearning.com for thousands of free resources.